There are so many people in their 20s, their 30s, their 40s that wake up one day and ask themselves, is this where I want to be? And then they answer it with, no, I am not enjoying where I am, the people around me, the place I'm living at, the money that I'm earning. But then the question is, how do I get what I want? I feel stuck at the place right now. And if I'm honest with you, that was exactly me a few years ago. I still remember going to my classes, being hung over all the time, smoking weed, not really knowing where I wanted to go with life with my life. So I had this question of, is this really what I want to do with my life? And the answer was no, I felt lost. And for this video to impact you, you don't need to feel lost. But if you have those questions in your mind, if, uh, from like, hey, am I doing what I, what I want to be doing? Am I living my purpose? Am I enjoying every moment I'm having right now? Um, then this video will be of massive impact to you. What you are lacking right now is a clear vision for the future. And you might think you know where you want to go, but lacking that, that clear vision for the future, that's the main thing that is holding you back from answering those questions and moving towards the life that you want to live. Because if you don't know where you want to go, how are you ever going to get there? You won't be like a ship sailing on the sea, having no idea how to get at your destination. So why is it so important to have a vision in your life? A vision puts substance behind your goals. You can set a goal, but if you don't have a clear vision of where you want to be, then that goal doesn't mean that much to you. Of your vision as the end state that you want to be at. Where do you want to be in 10 years, in 20 years? Because if you have the larger vision, then it's very easy to, very easy to put that into a one-year vision, into monthly targets, into weekly targets. But it all starts with the grand vision, the end state where you want to. Vision also makes it easier to uh, combat the roadblocks that you'll face because if you have a big enough why where you want to get to and why that's important to you then it doesn't matter what you need to do because what you need to do the the cost of that action will always be lower than not achieving the goals that you want to achieve and the thing you need for that is to have a clear vision so in my other videos i talked about how you should be happy with the present moment and that there's nothing external that will actually make you happy so why if i'm saying that to you is it so important to set a clear vision and to set goals in your life and the reason for that is that intention setting is one of the most important things that there is if you don't set an intention or a goal of where you want to go you'll just be that ship on the sea having no idea where he's going it might up and uh, up in a nice place it might also not end up in a nice place you might not make the impact that you want to make you set a vision and a goal you know exactly where you want to get out to but the most important thing is to not get attached to your goal that's the biggest thing you can set a big vision but don't get attached to that goal because that is the thing that will set you up for unhappiness now and in the future there's a key concept that has changed my life forever and it's the concept of hila high intention low attachment high intention means i know exactly where i want to go i will do everything in my power to get there but low attachment so if i get it it's cool if i don't get it it's also cool my life is fine right now and that makes you happy with the present moment but still makes you able to achieve and go after your goals so another question that might pop into your mind is why do i need to set a life vision i am comfortable with where i'm at and that was the exact thing I was thinking at the start of the year. At the start of the year, I went to an event by one of my former performance coaches and he broke my belief. I said to him, I'm comfortable right now, happy with the money I'm earning, happy with the, with the progress that I'm making. And he actually challenged me because he made me see that what I was saying to myself was just a way to get out of the fear of being uncomfortable. I was, my mind was telling me, hey, you're comfortable with where you're at, you have a good life, why should, why should you push further? And that was the exact thing that was holding me back. Because if I looked at what I actually wanted to achieve, the impact I wanted to make, where I wanted to live, the people that I wanted to have around me, then I was making no progress towards that whatsoever. Oh, that's maybe overstated, but I could have been making a lot more progress than I was, just because I thought I was comfortable. And that could be the same thing for you. So that's what I want to challenge you with. First look at what do I actually want? And in my current trajectory, am I going towards that? Because if you are not going towards it, then you are not really happy with where you're at. You could be happy with the present moment, 
but you're not internally satisfied. You know that you can do more. You know that you can unlock more potential out of yourself. Before we dive into setting your life vision, let me just share with you what it has done for me. I set the goal of being a biohacking coach when I first started with biohacking. And I also set the goal of generating a 10K month with my business. With my own business, I've achieved a 23K month. And with Peak Club, we've achieved something like an 80K month. That is just by setting the, the intention and the goal of, of, set, of making a large business and then setting the goals of a 20K month, a 50K month, 80K month just by setting that goal and making it important. I also wrote down that I wanted to have a group of friends around me that have the same interests and that push me to become greater. And that's also what I've achieved right now. It's so crazy the things I wrote down a few years ago, how they've all come to fruition just by me setting the intentions and putting my actions behind that intention. What you can achieve is immense. If you just ask yourself what you want and then make a plan to get it. But the first step is getting clarity about what you actually want. So these steps have helped me in achieve my wildest goals. And it's very, very simple. simple. What I want you to do after this video is to close your laptop, close your phone, take a pen and a piece of paper, drive somewhere, cycle somewhere, get into a nice place of nature, get calm, maybe do some breath work, do some meditation. Then ask yourself if I could experience anything that I could experience, what is the thing I really want? Do I want to build a large business? Where do I want to live? And just write down everything that comes to mind because your subconscious mind already knows what you want. You just need to give it the time and space to actually answer it. So that is the biggest key you can do into setting a life vision. Clarity is the most essential thing to achieving the things that you want to achieve in your life. So let me know in the comments below, do you already have a life vision? What are your main goals in life? And I'll see you in the next video.